Pop a top again. Hello, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to um, talk about this new record that I bought today. It's by a band called... Sp I didn't get it today, I got it yesterday. By a band called Space. Not the, the Britpop amazing UK Space. French band from the 70s, I think this is 1977. Yeah, 1977, and um, I think they've got heaps of albums. I only realized I've been li listening to this one for like years on uh, there's a YouTube video of it. I listen to it when I'm reading because it's, it's all instrumentals, um, except for the very last track, which is called Carry On, Turn Me On. Um, and it's amazing. We'll maybe stick a bit of that in here. Uh, yeah, these are like French, like electronica, um, I guess you'd call it. And uh, yeah, such a cool album. I'm just really pleased to finally found one. I think I got it for, like I was the only person to bid on it. So it was 99p and then like 250 or two pounds to post it. So it was ace. Um, the, their second album, I can't remember what that's called now, but it has the coolest album cover ever. So definitely need to get that one as well. But yeah, uh, super chuffed to have that. So let's go see what else is happening. So the, the palace of shame, as it was before, it's still a bit shameful. But I've put, built some bookcases and put up some uh, books. It's not ideal, but the place is dry and I know it's dry. So it's all good for now. Um, We'll have a little look at some of the bookcases. I got the new uh, Pokemon expansion. I'm supposed to be playing that right now with my bros. But um, yeah, we'll have a look at these first. All right, I've got no real plan, so we'll just have a look and see what springs out. Uh, this is all Hunter. I think Fear and Loathing's inside. I do want a nice hardback Fear and Loathing, ideally. There's a nice Hell's Angels on an old penguin. It's been like uh, cellophane, sticky back plastic over the top. Uh, that's a real cool little Thompson book that came out 2009 or something, I want to say. It's just three short stories. I think Screw Jack is in one of these. No, Notes from Mescalito. No. What's the one? He's like in a hotel room and he's. Uh... Oh, Jesus, there's a spider on it. Be gone, foul beast. Okay, he's away. I think you'll probably end up in my hair. I always tend to net like to nest there. Sorry, this isn't very good. I understand that. Uh, oh no, it is notes from Mescalito. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. After all of this, I was right all along. Here we go. So yeah, it's only like 60, 70 pages. And I'm pretty sure he like tongues. I need to read that again because I don't think I understood it. At the end of Screwjack, it's about a cat, and he like. At the end, he opens it like opens its mouth really wide and sticks his tongue in there. So, I need to revisit that. I think. Uh, Chariots of the Gods, one Danakin, and his Ancient Aliens Manifesto. I think there's something in it, but maybe not. We were visited by aliens, but it's possible. I think more possibly. Uh, we had a more advanced civilization on our planet 
uh, and we were wiped out by those dual ice ages that happened close together. Um, but that's what I believe. It's not what I believe, but it is a theory. Book about crop circles. Sweet. Uh, Logan's Run. So there's the t two of the UK ones. Logan's Run, Logan's World. And then here's the American ones. Logan's Search. Holy shit, what a search. Oh, shit. Uh, Semperfy bought me these. So... Shout out to Semperfy. Uh, yeah, the old penguins are always sweet. I think I've got a few tasty ones. Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's more modern. That's not as old as the some of these other ones. Uh, yes, yeah, Hemingway. That's nice. Where are the flies? I'm casting a shadow. Uh, dwarf, the dwarf books. There's a fifth one somewhere that's a compendium of the first two. Brothers Karamazov. I'm never going to read that. Uh, Name of the Wind, Patrick Rothfuss. Bone Idol Bastard needs to hurry up and finish the third book. Uh, that's great. His first law, or the first law, or something like that's called. Uh, some graphic novels. All my comics are inside. I've got some filing cabinets for them. This is just some overspill graphics, and I think that's a key right down under there, under that chair. Uh, Bukowski. Douglas Adams. Shirley Jackson over there. She's awesome. More ghost story books. I'm really into those just now. I've got another heap in the house. Uh, ghostly laughter. I love these like 70s, 60s and 70s paperbacks. They're amazing. Just all, uh, all the publishers. Just They're just so cool from that era. Uh, we're back to where we've already been. It's over here. Don't look over where... Uh, yeah, banks, banks, banks. Copy of Jaws, Jurassic Park. Suspicions is pre the suspicions of Mr. Witcher is pretty cool. It's about like the setting up of Scotland Yard, maybe like a, a murder that uh, a police officer came to uh, in like a detective kind of way, and it spawned the C MI Five Scotland Yard, something like that. There's another Von Daniken. And yeah, Jerusalem. I think I've read 120 pages. That was as far in as I could get. But yeah, loads of potters as well. Sweet. Staffordshire's had a whole crop of flying saucers. Spots in the sky, lights in the sky, strange things. But the strangest of all was seen one day over this cottage. Mr. and Mrs. Rustenberg were living there, quietly, out in the country, and, well, what, you just tell me what you saw. Well, this was one ordinary day. I was waiting for my husband to come home from work, and my two sons went to Cypher to school, and I was getting changed, and I heard this terrific noise. It was just like a giant cauldron of water being poured onto a, a fire, a shh sort of noise, you know. And my first reaction was, oh, the children. I thought maybe a plane was crashing or something like that. And I uh, slipped my jumper on and went outside to find my two sons lying flat on the ground in the garden in front of the house, shouting, Mummy, Mummy, there's a flying saucer. Well, naturally, I just said, come on, don't be stupid. Come in the house. But felt sort of a strange sensation. Uh, when did my way up the side of the house to where we had a pump where we used to get all our water from and um, automatically looked up to see this all I can describe this huge Mexican hat right so as part of the uh, lockdown scenario people have started putting out books like boxes of books and 
help yourself and put some books in and it's all a bit of a swap shop but there's a I know I know a spot and it's just here and the books are steadily growing but there's still nothing good but we'll go and have a look come on friend. and all the parks are super overgrown and it's just the odd bit that folk can get to with the, their own lawnmower from the house that has been mown, but here we go, look, here's the stash it started off as one box, it's now three but I've yet to find anything that's decent It's a fucking Richard Maidley book. The Savage Day, Jack Higgins may be worth a look, but I don't think it's worth opening the box. We'll open the children's books, just in case there's any potters in here. Okay, maybe something. An older copy, maybe 90s, early 90s copy of Roldal. Uh, 1990, bang on. Maybe, that's close. This could be a map. If this is a map, this would be sweet. Oh no. That's quite cool. But yeah, nothing even worth taking. The doll was nice. Maybe go back for that. I'm going to have to close pause this to uh, put the lid back on. To, uh, I just need to make point of the fact that the rock holding the lid down is very nice. Right, I think that's it this week. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, oh, check out a, a podcast called Cheap Show. I'll put a link in the description for it on Spotify. Uh, I sent in record uh, couple of records to them and uh, they uh, used one of them in their in their show you'll understand if you listen to it so go and listen to it it's the newest one 100 episode 183 anyway i'll leave a link to it uh take care see you later do you like one man's trash no i think it's rubbish <laughs>